It's been a hot minute since I did one of these. What's up guys, my name is Sean James and I'm a filmmaker based out of the Charlotte, North Carolina area. And uh, I just wanted to talk about uh, perks on having a director's monitor. So one of the first reasons I recommend picking up one of these is um, say you get hired for a project and your client um, wants to see like what you're shooting. On sets, you can easily hand them one of these and be like, hey, this is yours for the day. Um, this is a live feed directly to my camera, so whatever I'm filming, you'll be able to see. Another good perk about having a director's monitor, say you wanted to pull focus on a project, right? You can actually hand this to your AC, of course, with the proper uh, equipment having you know a director's monitor um, to you know follow focus wirelessly you know on your projects that require that is so uh, so useful to have uh, the setup that I have though isn't really necessarily um, for follow focusing just because there's you know probably I would say a three to four uh, frame lag. My setup is more for the scenario if you know you're out on a shoot and you know you hand this to your client and say hey this is a live feed of my camera or if you're on a project that you are directing and you have a cinematographer that is filming with you you can focus strictly on you know directing your talent or directing um, your camera movements that your cinematographer is doing uh, just so you can narrow in just a little bit more on what you need to do as a director. Yeah, I hope this video helped. Let me know if you wanted me to do a full review on this piece of equipment. I would love to do it. Um, and I obviously want to have a little bit more production time with this. I haven't really had any production time. I've just been getting used to it, getting used to building it, and getting used to, you know, putting my cables and wiring in the proper place. And so uh, I hope this video helped and peace.